Hi student, this is Anjali Ahuja from Mask IIT and working here since 4 years. And my post graduation is from Kurukshetra University. I am expecting that you already know. Anyways, we are going to learn the chapter environmental issues today and I have divided the chapter into 4 parts. Where we will learn about different types of pollution. In the first part, we will learn about air pollution. Its consequences, its sources and many more things. So let's get jumping. So let's start the chapter environmental issues. In this chapter, we are going to learn about all the issues of the environment. I think the first and the last issue is the pollution, different kind of pollution. Pollution is just to in dust, it's not just, it is the increase of the pollutant in the nature. By the natural reason, natural type of pollution, by the man-made reasons, man-made pollution. Pollutant, if you categorize, they are of two, like they are categorized into two categories, primary and the secondary pollutant. Primary pollutant is the, formed by the natural reasons, volcanic eruption, carbon dioxide, UV rays, cosmic rays. They are primary pollutant and secondary pollutant is like when the primary no pollutant are present, they are reacting to form other form, which may or may not be more toxic form. And this phenomena where this toxic form is getting formed, secondary pollutant, this is known as synergies. Now I'm going to tell you about the categorization of the pollutant and the pollution. The categorization of the pollutant on the basis of different parameter. First is on the basis of degradation. On the basis of degradation, they are of two types. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Listen to me. Biodegradable can be degraded, decomposed. Non-biodegradable cannot. Because example, non-biodegradable plastic, uh, plastic and obviously different form of plastic and then uh, this different chemical insecticides too because they cannot be decomposed by natural reasons and uh, that is another form next is on the basis of their existence on the basis of existing qualitative and quantitative quantitative is present in nature quantitative it is present in nature in natural form as I am saying carbon dioxide level is increasing and qualitative it is by man-made reasons that is another categorization. Next is the categorization of the pollution. First is on the basis of emission of pollutant. It can be categorized into different categories. As I am saying the point. Point source means single point as like a chimney. And next is a single line. Single lines means or a road. The automobiles which are uh, over there. And next category, next is area source pollution in a particular area. Mining area, industrial area. Or they can be diffuse source pollution area large area it is considered next is on the basis of environmental studies that is what we are going to learn in this chapter environmental issues on the basis of environmental studies we are going to study in this chapter and they all are types of it air pollution water pollution soil pollution noise pollution radioactive pollution thermal pollution also we will learn so in the first part we are going to learn about air pollution what is air pollution? Any undesirable change in physical, chemical or biological property of air, this is known as air pollution. The, uh, the important air pollution are oxides of sulfur, oxides of nitrogen, oxides of carbon, smoke, smoke and ozone. Pollutant, they are categorized into two categories. Gases in particulate. See, if the pollution it is present in the gaseous form, that is known as gases in particulate, is in particulate form, as I am saying, smoke insecticide fungicide that we can see the droplet water droplet also they are the two types of pollutant okay you can see the picture as well to increase your knowledge so guys i'm going to tell you now effects of air pollution the type of the pollutant and how it is going to affect the first one is the carbon it result in greenhouse effect the detail i'm going to tell you just after a few slides so you have to stay tuned for that greenhouse effect is a kind of global warming where the temperature of the earth increases due to carbon sources from the carbon from the coal uh, automobiles vehicles it is produced effect of sulfur and nitrogen it causes chlorosis and defoliation of leaves see the chlor chlorosis you must have learned this in the lower classes as well it is the yellowing of leaves and defoliation means this kind of pathajad without season in hindi uh, it is caused by sulfur and nitrogen next pollutant are these are unburn hydrocarbon example is Benzipyrene, benzene and methane. Uh, they are released from automobiles, uh, burning of fossil fuel and it causes lung cancer. Next is the thylene. It causes defoliation, falling of leaves and birds also. Nitrogen oxide present as NO and O2 form. 
more complicated form too. It causes photochemical smog. Just after this slide, I'm going to tell you about the photochemical smog. Acid rain, rain which is acidic. Detail, stay tuned for that. Lungs disease as like swelling of lung, emphysema, cancer of lung. Uh, there can be lung cancer also, bronchitis also. This goes by nitrogen oxide. Okay, raining, raining. The photochemical smoke destroy plant vegetation. That is what I was about to say. Photochemical smoke. Uh, the ozone formed by photochemical reaction of oxides of nitrogen and hydrocarbon at lower level of atmosphere. This is known as photochemical smoke. How it is formed? Take a look. Photochemical smoke. Here it is formed. Nitrogen oxide react with oxygen in the presence of sunlight. It forms PAN which is peroxy acetyl nitrate. So,